What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Jr. You're watching the Star Wars edition of the Raging Nation show. This is just a web series where we talk about all things that matter me in the Star Wars Cinematic Universe. This is episode number 18. And I'm sure by now you guys have seen the awesome Star Wars 7, The Force Awakens final trailer. I've seen it a number of times. I just kept on replaying it and replaying it and replaying it. And I did a reaction video for it. It's the previous video before this one. And I got to tell you something. J.J. Abrams really hit all the right marks with this trailer. It was perfect. The music, the atmosphere, the right shots... A perfect blend of the new and the old, putting all to putting it all together and just making us feel like this is a true continuation of what we loved. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna do a shot for shot, detailed trailer analysis, and we're gonna see what's going on and see what we can gather out of this. Okay. So let's first start off with the very very first shot, and that would be. The very first shot which introduces Daisy Ridley's character Finn and based on what I can tell from the next few shots she's a bit of a, a scavenger. She's a, a uh, someone who um, is searching around for parts I guess or looking around for some artifact. I don't know. But you can see her wearing the goggles with the, uh, the, 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 the lamp on the side of her, her, her goggle which suggests that she's looking for something. She's in what I believe is a fallen, maybe it's a Star Destroyer, but it's at least a fallen battleship or cruiser in the planet of Jakku, I think. I think it's Jakku. I don't know. I've been hearing that, that name thrown around everywhere. Anyways, so she's climbing around and then you see her jump through the shaft and then she ends up in what appears to be a hangar. I can tell it's a hangar because if you look in the the background you see this giant rectangle which suggests that um, ships are supposed to fly out of there now I love this shot here uh, it's it's uh, Finn and BB-8 and I'm not sure if BB-8 is originally Finn's droid or does she find uh, BB-8 in the um, in the wreckage or this shot takes place before she goes into um, uh, uh, the wreckage. I don't know, but uh, but it's cool to know that that is her personal droid. The following shot shows her flying off away somewhere. I don't know where it is, but uh, you can see some wreckage on the the back. I mean, on the bottom right hand corner. It's a mystery to what that really is. Now the next scene is a sh is a really nice shot of Finn, and in the dialogue in the background, you hear a question that is, "Who are you?" And she responds with, "I'm nobody." And that that poses a mystery because who is she really? We know she's a protagonist in the film, but uh, what is her significance, and why are we following her adventures? That's a big question. And also another question is who asked her, who is she? We don't know yet, okay? Now here is our first look at the First Order Stormtroopers. Very, very clean looking design for these Stormtrooper costumes. And if you look closely in the background, um, you see, I don't know what the character's name is, but I at least think that is the character who is played by Dom Hall Gleason, all right? And then if you look in the background, you see mountains, like snowy mountains, which suggests that this is a scene that takes place possibly before the big battle in the snowy mountains. And then next we have a very dirty looking stormtrooper costume, or rather a stormtrooper in a with a dirty costume, looks like he's been through a lot, looks like a little bit of blood on the helmet. And then turns out it's John Boyega's character, uh, Ray. No, sorry, I mixed things around. This is Finn. The girl is Ray, played by Daisy Ridley. <laughs> anyway, so this is Finn, not Ray. Ray is the Daisy Ridley. This is Finn, played by John Boyega. And the big question is: Is he a defector, or is he a a, a character who is in um, stormtrooper disguise and he's looking for a way to escape? I I don't know. Okay, but all I know is that uh, he's looking to escape because in the next shot. I believe that that is him piloting the, the TIE fighter, the black TIE fighter, the, which is escaping the Star Destroyer. And it looks like it's been shot down because um, if you look at the next shot, uh, it's been really, really damaged. And I believe it crash lands on the desert planet of Jakku because the next shot is Finn um, overlooking this, this uh, desert town. All right, and there he is. He's you know he's obviously sweating mainly because well he's in the desert and he's just looking for some sort of civilization. 
now we introduce the evil presence, and that is Kylo Ren. And we get the shot where we zoom in closer to his back, and then we see his face for the first time. And then he says that uh, he's going to finish what he started, and uh, and by he I mean Darth Vader as he looks at uh, Darth Vader's uh, um, burnt mask or his helmet. And what's very crazy is this shot here where Kylo Ren uses some kind of kind of kind of force gesture, and it appears to be Poe Dameron, played by Oscar Isaac, who is an X-wing pilot, and he's doing something to his mind which is making him scream. He's in pain maybe torturing him in some way but this very, appears to be a very dark scene and then what we see next is that it fades to a a sequence where this forest just gets blown up um through some a fireball like a, or maybe a, a nuclear blast of some kind but it is a pretty explosive scene mass destruction takes place followed fo followed by this amazing really goosebump inducing nerd chill lithoramic <laughs> scene where a millenn the Millennium Falcon flies around as two uh, TIE fighters chase through it around the wreckage of a fallen Star Destroyer and this is a beautiful sequence I mean in the trailer they played the music um, and then you have this Millennium Falcon f flying around chased uh, down by these uh, these TIE fighters and then oh my god th these shots are just beautiful oh man Next, we have um, Finn and Rey inside the Millennium Falcon. And then she says something like, um, I heard of stories about the Jedi and the Sith. And then, and then the next shot is Harrison Ford, where he says, it's all true. All of it. All right. And uh, so they're beginning to learn more about what took place 20 years ago after, or 30 years. I forget how many years apart is Return of Jedi, but 20 or 30 years ago. And then they're finding out, out about it, all right? Because they weren't even born when, uh, when um, the, uh, the rebellion took place. Now, here's a classic shot. This is a great shot of uh, warp speed, warp drive. And then uh, out comes the Millennium Falcon. And the next shot appears to be Kylo Ren with his tri-saber and a bunch of elite First Order stormtroopers. Like, they're not the regular stormtroopers in the white... Uh, um, the white uh, uh, costumes or armor. These are some elite guards of some kind and they're following Kylo Ren around and they're in somewhere where it has a lot of rain and lightning but it appears that I'm assuming that they're looking for something. They This must be some kind of scouting party that's following Kylo Ren and then now we get to the, the X-Wing action as these X-Wing fly across this lake and then the next shot is... Um, if you look in the background, it looks like the X-Wing are coming. The, uh, because you see this kind of like a wave uh, heading towards these stormtroopers. But what I'm curious about is what happened to this, 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 this town or whatever this is. It looks like buildings got destroyed here. Like some chaos ensued. And uh, maybe the, the, the X-Wing are here to, uh, to finish off the battle. Like, like kill off the, 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 the First Order stormtroopers. Now... I'm assuming that that record we saw we saw on that coast is this building here that is on fire, and it's a battle that takes place between Tie fighters and X-wing fighters. All right. Now here's a pretty cool shot. Like I don't know um, uh, the relationship between uh, Poe Dameron and and Finn, but um, it looks like Finn, um, you know, he wants to join the battle, but he's being um, he's being looked down on. But, you know, you can really read body language, especially right in this scene where Oscar, where, where Poe Dameron gives uh, um, Finn kind of like a, a gesture which suggests, look, this is your moment. Or, or it looks like, uh, you know, now's your time to shine. We got to put aside our differences and this is your moment to, to do, make a difference. That's what it looks like. Based on this shot right here, it looks like that uh, uh, um, uh, Poe Dameron is giving Finn his uh, look of um, like look of approval of some kind. And this shot right here is where Finn uh, uh, realizes that Poe Dameron sees good in him. I don't know that's or sees potential. Next shot is a continues where that battle left off, and we see this really cool shot of X-wing shooting down these uh, uh, Tie fighters. And um, here's a scene that takes place on Jakku. And a TIE fighter flew across and shot something and it blew up this something and causing a really huge explosion causing uh, um, a Finn and Ray to just like, Whoa! like that. Uh, but I think a TIE fighter 
destroyed um i don't know it destroyed something big but i i thought it was just um uh, uh raise um raise uh, a speeder or something but that wouldn't have caused such a huge explosion. Okay, moving on. This is the most interesting and most curious shot in the entire trailer. And that is Finn, Ray, BB-8 follow um, Han Solo into this, I don't know, this this, these, this temple of some kind. And then you see this droid on the right side. Uh, where are they going? Who knows? But now here's our only shot of Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is missing from the poster and he doesn't really appear in the trailer except now which is a shot that we've already seen before now this is the first time we're actually seeing r2 okay so i believe r2 stayed with uh luke skywalker and uh here we see he had, he's missing his hand because darth vader chopped it off but uh that is a very mysterious scene now here's a shot where some kind of a shuttle is landing and it looks like they are, uh, they are, um, uh, whoever's in the ship is about to land and, and, um, and I guess assess the, the, the damage or assess what has gone, like happened as the stormtroopers cleaned out the area for, for Kylo Ren's arrival or Captain Phasma's arrival, I guess. Here's Captain Phasma right here. They obviously did some damage to this village or town or whatever this is. Uh, and here is Kylo Ren, and he stands here, but then later on he raises his lights, his tri-saber, to cut someone down. Who knows who it is? It could have been somebody who lived in that town. Um, now, here's Rey, as uh, she is in distress, not sure what's happening, but maybe there's some sacrifice had to be made, or somebody died, or something. Uh, now, now, this is even crazier. We have Han Solo, Chewbacca, and... Um, Finn, who are um, held hostage, they're they're held hostage, um, and I'm pretty sure they're surrounded by First Order stormtroopers. Now, BB-8, I believe, ends up being um, Poe Dameron's um, mech or um, uh, astromech droid, uh, because here he is in this shot. He's in focus, and then when he's out of focus, the camera um, zooms or focuses on the the many many Tie Fighters that is going to make for a really badass. Uh, ship battle uh, and here's Poe Dameron so you know what I believe that that is really BB-8 as the astromech droid uh, and then this battle takes place in the mountains so I think that either I think the, the battle at the lake leads into this battle in the mountains and this could be the final battle I don't know but uh, what's also very curious is these this kind of weird structure um, is it a fallen ship could be but a huge battle takes place in two different settings. The area with the lake and the area in the snowy mountains. So maybe w one battle leads into the other or they could be two completely different battles. I think one leads into the other. All right. And the next shot is a bunch of sto First Order Stormtroopers coming down a shuttle or some kind of transport ship. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to be seeing a lot of Stormtroopers. And this time around, they're actually going to hit something. <laughs> Now, um, who is Finn sh or who is Ray shooting at? She is very, very um, determined about shooting at whoever, whatever it is she's shooting at, because um, we're seeing like a, a side of her where she is, she needs to fight. Okay. Now, this is also this appears to be also part of that lake battle where the X-wing uh, fighters are shooting at the uh, stormtroopers. And he, then this X-wing successfully shoots at a stormtrooper, and here's Kylo Ren. We've seen these this uh, shot before. He's wa marching with the stormtroopers. Then he turns around and does some kind of force uh, motion. Now I believe this is part of the battle uh, where, or the rather, the Millennium Falcon Tie Fighter chase, where the Millennium Falcon fi flies into the Dar Star Destroyer, and he's flying into these really really tight. Um, areas inside the the interior of the Star Destroyer and then it has to blast its way through uh, this very narrow area and it makes it through causing the TIE Fighter to probably get destroyed here alright and now here's a cool shot this shot must take place on a Star Destroyer you, the reason why I know why is because of the the uh, the, the mobile toaster this mobile toaster is seen in uh, Star Wars uh, episode 4 A New Hope and here he is again so I'm thinking it's on a Star Destroyer. Now, here's our first look at Leia. Leia um, 
is seen here uh, being uh, embraced by Han Solo. And what you see in the background is this shot of, of the rebel pilots probably in the same area where Poe Dameron had a bit of a, a, um, an exchange with, um, with Finn. All right? I'm, prob I'm positive this is the same area. This looks like the X-Wing hangar. All right? Now, the final shot is John Boyega's character Finn inside a forest lighting up, igniting his lightsaber and of course he's about to duel with somebody and that is of course Kylo Ren. Look at the fear in his eyes. Look at that. That is genuine fear. You're about to go up with, you're not even a Jedi and you're about to go up against a Sith Lord and once he ignites the lightsaber, wow. Look at that man. That is genuine fear. He is in terror, terror and he probably doesn't know what to do next. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. It was an awesome trailer. Um, I I find the most interesting thing about this trailer is really Finn and Rey's character. They're the biggest mystery of them all. We didn't get any shot of the new Death Star or the Star Killer Planet or whatever the heck that is. Uh, but uh, uh, what we do see again is Luke Skywalker, and this, it's a shot we saw before. But it it is at least to remind us that uh, Luke Skywalker is, of course, in this film, which we already know because Mark Hamill has been cast in this film. But what is his role in this film? Harrison Ford seems to have a much bigger role compared to uh, Luke Skywalker. But this is just based on the trailer, right? Anyways, this is the final trailer. We're gonna get a lot of TV spots as we get to uh, we get closer to the end of November. I'm thinking on the third week of November, they're gonna just go on full blast with the marketing. Tons of TV spots, but I don't even know if I really wanna see any more. This is a huge movie. I really don't wanna spoil too much, but J.J. Abrams is a pretty smart guy. Um, he has been really, really secretive about the marketing of this film, so he doesn't give a whole lot away. Um, he usually just gives just enough to really show us the right amount. Anyways, that's all I gotta say in this video. If you can elaborate more on what is going on in these trailers, please feel free to comment on the comment section below. And that's all I really have to say in this video. Stay tuned for more updates on this channel and hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name's Alex Chu, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, peace. Oh.